recently a viewer, Dolores, commented on one of my videos asking about worm composting. She is new to worm composting, and so Dolores, I wanted to answer your questions by way of a video because I think there are a lot of people out there that are new to worm composting. So I've got my two main worm composters right here, and I wanted to show you the answers to some of your questions. All right, so I've got my 10 gallon worm bin here made out of a couple of totes. You can see over here, this is what worm castings look like. So this section right here is fully composted. And if I pull back, you can even see there's a layer of newspaper there. That is worm castings right there. There's even a little worm inside it. Another thing you notice here in my worm bin is I've actually got some green pepper seeds that have sprouted. There's enough light coming through these screen holes that these germinated. I've actually transplanted some of these to some pots and I'll see if I can get them planted in the garden. Another one of your questions was how do you know when to put more food scraps into your worm bin? Ideally, you're able to put food scraps into your worm bin as often as you're creating kitchen scraps. As long as you're layering uh, bedding on top of that. So whether that's cardboard or newspaper or paper, your shredded paper scraps. So newspaper inks are usually made out of soy, so they're safe to use for your worms. You don't want to use the glossy coupons section um, of the newspaper that's got a varnish on it. Another thing I want to show you is what a worm cocoon looks like. Because one of the ways you can determine if your colony is healthy is that they're producing cocoons. So this is a worm cocoon. It looks somewhat translucent. There will be these in abundance in your worm composter if it's operating correctly. And that's part of the purpose for the bedding. You want to have enough space for the worms to find nooks and crannies to, to lay their cocoons. Another evidence as well is seeing lots of baby worms, and there are, I'm seeing a lot of small worms in this composter as well. So here's a little one. You also asked if you should add soil to your worm composter, and the answer is no. Uh, a composting worm is different than an earthworm. They like this type of environment. Uh, compostables, leaf litter, basically what you would find on the surface of the soil. They're different than an earthworm, which processes earth. They're found down deeper. That also answers your question of, can I dig up earthworms and use them in a composter? That answer is also no, because of the difference in the biology of the earthworm versus the composting worm. Now you can find composting worms in your backyard. Usually they'll be in the top layer of soil but to get enough to have an effective composting system is going to take a little more time. So if you want to get something up and running quickly, then I recommend buying them online. And Uncle Jim's Worm Farm is a great resource for that. They'll ship them to you in a couple days. They're not that expensive and they usually have sales. And I'll put a link to a coupon that Uncle Jim's gave me for 10% off an online order. I'll put that in the description below. So you can take a look at that there. And just as a disclosure, I don't make any money off that coupon. I just really love the quality product that I get from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. From Uncle Jim. I've got a whole playlist of videos specifically about worm composting how-to. Everything from building different types of bins, from worm towers to bucket bins, and also how to manage those systems including dealing with soldier fly larva infestations. You can check out that playlist by clicking on the card in the top right hand corner. In the top. Well Dolores, thank you so much for your questions. I hope you found this answer video useful and that you are indeed gonna take that step and start worm composting. If any of you have questions about worm composting, feel free to ask them in the comments below and I'll answer them there or maybe with another video. As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks for watching. Please like and share and subscribe for new videos every Friday. Friday.